This is take 448 of my solar food dehydrator video. So this is a project I've been working on for about a year and the idea here is to uh, use as many recycled products as possible and spend as little money as possible. So what we've got here is a window from a friend of mine. I built this black box for it. Now the idea here is that the air will enter the bottom of this box through this round hole which is screened over. It will heat up inside the box exit out the top through this dryer hose enter into the bottom of this night old nightstand table through the dry or the racks of drying food and then exit out the top here now I'll show you a little show you inside the box here as well okay so inside we've got three compartments and the air will come in through the bottom circulate around Go up the side, circulate around, and then into the third compartment. And in each compartment, we've got these thin pieces of metal painted black, and they're just sort of suspended up on some uh, blocks of wood there to get them up off the bottom. And they all pop out so I can move this around easily, and that should help heat up the air inside. Now, just put that back like that. Now the last few things I have to do, I want to shorten this dryer hose and I also have to uh, make a few more drying racks. I've only got two in here and I've got four spots for them. Each of these each of these are just a uh, old picture frame with some screen and the ever useful duct tape holding it on. And I'm also going to get that sucker back in there. I've got uh, a seal around the door here that I have to continue putting around all the way around to uh, make it airtight just so bugs don't get in and it's an old bicycle inner tube that I've glued on there. And that close up. Now that's basically it. Now we haven't tested it yet because this is Nova Scotia and we haven't seen the sun in six months but uh, I'm quite confident it will work if we get two to three days of uh, plus 20 degree temperatures. Uh, I had it going one day without the pieces of metal or compartments on a 16 degree day and I had the temperature up inside just the bottom part up to uh, 36 degrees. But uh, we won't know for sure until we get some sunny days and try it out, but I will let you know.